but say it's well worth a visit. Thanks, Emma. If I were you, I think I'd stay on and enjoy them a little bit longer. Lovely, isn't it? Now, the term inspirational is perhaps a little overused in today's world, but it applies perfectly to the achievements of a nine-year-old boy from Norfolk whose baby sister died when she was just 15 days old. Alice Rowlands died two years ago from a rare liver condition. Since then, her brother Sam has raised over £40,000 in her memory and, as Laura Burns now reports, got quite a few celebrities involved in the process. Are you on? It's a home video the Rowlands family still find painful to watch. Six-year-old Sam cradling his newborn baby sister. Alice only lived 15 days. Two years on, Sam's parents, Miranda and Paul, have been amazed by their son's courage. Since losing his sister, he's written to dozens of celebrities, asking them to donate items for raffles and charity dinners. Loads of stars have got involved, and he's now raised an incredible £41,000 for a fund set up in Alice's memory. I'm proud that we've achieved so much in such a little time. All the time when I'm, while I'm doing it, it reminds me of Alice. It makes me feel proud that I'm doing this for her. Alice died from a rare liver disease that developed in the womb. No problems had shown up on Miranda's 20-week scan. In fact, it was only when she went into labour six weeks early that doctors here realised something was wrong. Soon after she was born, baby Alice was diagnosed with acute liver failure and was moved to intensive care. But within five days, she got rapidly worse and was soon rushed to see specialists at King's College Hospital in London. It was an agonising time for her family. Fortunately, the Ronald MacDonald House Charity provided them with accommodation close by, which is where the money will go. When we were given a room, it restored a bit of normality to our lives. It gave us somewhere where we could eat properly, where we could sleep a bit better than we would otherwise, where Sam had a little bit of room to run around and let off steam and some toys to play with. Fundraising has played an important part in their healing process. My daughter, she's only here for 15 days, but in that time what she's achieved is, is more than, than a lot of people could ever achieve in a lifetime. So I'm so proud of Sam and, and everything he's done. I think it's fantastic. Sam's already raised more money than he'd ever imagined, but his hard work doesn't end here. The family say they'll continue to fundraise and they'll be auctioning off these items in the summer. Laura Burns, Anglia News, Spixworth in Norfolk. £41,000. What a wonderful big brother you are. Sam. Yeah, well done, Sam, from everyone here at Anglia. Mm. Now then, we've had a few bizarre world record attempts on this programme over the years, haven't we? Mm, but tonight there's one that really takes the biscuit. It's been ratified by the Guinness World Records and involves a German student who's studying English in Chelmsford. Malcolm Robertson's been to Essex today to meet him. Now, I don't want to stereotype, but you know how good the Germans are when it comes to competition. You know how they always win penalty shootouts. Well, I've got another German winner here. He's Gustav Schultz. He comes from near Berlin. He's at Chelmsford College. And just tell us, Gustav, what your world record's in. I'm the world record holder in eating Jaffa cakes. Jaffa eight. cakes. How many? Correct. Eight in the minute. OK. You're going to try and beat your record starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. So this is Gustav. He's not allowed to uh, pack them all in his mouth at one time. He has to eat one at a time, and he's not allowed a drink. Remarkable record. I don't know if you at home think you can uh, beat it, mm. but uh, I don't think Gustav's going to do it today. Don't let us down, because we sort of advertise this as a possible world record attempt, but uh, perhaps the conditions aren't great today. Mm. So that was your second one. Fifteen <laughs> seconds left. I don't think we're going to see a world record here today. No? How many seconds left? Three, two, one. Oh, good effort. Good effort. Not quite a world record. Why do you do this? I'm bored. I live in Hatfield Pebble near Boreham. <laughs> and I'm an au pair and I'm really boring often. And I just wrote it, uh, read it in the newspaper and I tried it. Let's see if some of your mates here at Chelmsford uh, can beat the eight. OK, fellas, let's have a go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I think it's beaten them. So it looks like we're not going to have a new world record at Chelmsford this afternoon. So there we are. Hasn't done it. Gustav's, um, Gustav's record is intact. I should just say 
But uh, I did think about having a go, but I always say that a moment on the lips is like a, a lifetime on the hips, so not for me. And here he is, still world champion, Gustav Schultz. Hey! Hey, Malcolm Hips. Oh, boy. I know what you, I'm having for my tea now. Oh. You'd give it a go, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, I think I could beat that. You should see Easy. her scoff biscuits. <laughs> Savage. Right, let's see what's coming up on the national news in a couple of minutes. Weather time now. Yeah, Amanda's here in the studio. What news of the weekend, Amanda? Well, we've got two completely different days ahead, put it that way. So tomorrow, I would stay indoors. It's not looking too great. It will be windy, lots of rain around. But the good news is that will clear. So by the time we get to Sunday, we're looking at a completely opposite day. In fact, it could well be the best day of the year so far. Let's take a look at the details. Well, Amanda's here. Couldn't avoid a challenge, could you? Eight Jaffa Cakes in a minute. You could do eight in 30 seconds, couldn't you? Oh, I could do 20 in a minute. No problem. <laughs> I thought you might say that. We're going to make you prove it now. Yeah, <laughs> it just happen. <laughs> Actually, there's a load of rubbish under there. Aww. That's all we've got time for. Have a lovely weekend. See you Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>